just got a video today I'm just gonna keep this as quick as possible um, showing people the exact process that I use for using this APK to TV application for Windows basically what this is is it's a tool that um, decompiles alters and recompiles standard Android apps so that it is lean back launcher compatible or in other words it's compatible with the home screen the default home screen on the Nvidia Shield TV um, it's you can get it from this link here just click this green link and it will download a zip file I'll leave a link to this page in the description once you've downloaded the zip file this is what you'll get what you want to do is you want to go and extract this just extract it to the same folder it don't really matter where you extract it or wherever is best for you this is what you will get only thing you want to concentrate on in here is this little application here with the green man I'm going to run that as administrator and then you want to make sure that you've got some standard Android APKs saved to your PC. I just grabbed these from my tablet using um, APK Extractor. I just um, extracted them. They go to a folder on your tablet. Use the S File Explorer to then copy and paste them into Dropbox or something, then download them to your PC. The app that I'm going to convert in this video is the Transdroid app so I'm just going to select open on that you'll get this little pop up you just want to run that you'll get a little command box um, doing its thing don't click or anything whilst that's doing just leave your mouse alone I've a couple of times I've accidentally clicked and it's broke the process and I've had to restart it all over again so just leave your mouse alone while it's doing that don't click anywhere on the right hand side you've got a little processing log which tells you exactly what's happening in that little command box so as you can see it's basically just extracted and read that app the next option that you get is to rename it I'm just gonna call it Transdroid Android TV the next step after this is to create a banner or a logo as such they give you a few basic um, options to do here you can rename it so I could rename it this if I wanted and then you get this little slider to change the size you can change the background color if you wanted the text color and just really simple stuff like that deselecting these gets rid of them etc etc what I do is I've just been knocking up a few logos in Photoshop um, an alternative to doing this you could download GIMP which is a free version of a uh, photo editing software as such got a few little tools that you would find in um, Photoshop itself you could use that and play about with that or you could just download a logo from the internet and resize it to the size needed the size needed is 320 by 180 pixels in size if you do click, click this little hyperlink here it takes you to a google search of background images in that size you could simply just download one of these and add your text over it or whatever if you wanted to I'm gonna I've already created a logo here so I'm gonna select existing banner I'm gonna navigate to my desktop and I will pick Transdroid and there we go it's loaded the banner in that's all you need to do for this um, after that you just want to hit the convert button you'll get another one of these pop up with another little command box it should pop up again too yep there we go it'll pop up again and there we go tells you all here that it's decompiled red um, reconstructed 
re-signed and then finished cleaning up the Android APK. When you see this little complete here, it means it's done, so you can quit this. It As default, it saves into the folder that you unzipped at the start of the video, and there it is, Transdroid Android TV. I'm just going to move that to my desktop. Now, the only problem that I've found with this is if I was to reopen this, load a different APK in, go through all that process again and convert it, it would give me an error saying um, this app has already been um, converted. I'm not sure why it does that because it's a different app and whatnot. So the quick fix that I've found for it is I just delete the folder that I've already once unzipped empty my recycle bin and then just re-unzip it and do the process all over again just now reopen this and load your next APK and go through the process and you're fine to do that that's all you need to do with this I'm not quite sure why people are having errors maybe it's um, you've gone through a different process as me or something I'm not too sure but if you're still having problems after this video, let me know and I'll be happy to convert whatever app it is that you want converting or I'll try and help you with whatever problem you've got. Just leave me a comment down below. Cheers for watching.